What's up guys, it's Fief Chief here and welcome back to another video on my channel. Today we have for you an insane sniping filter and trading method to help you make a ton of coins on FIFA 21. So if you are enjoying the content, please subscribe, it helps me out a ton. And make sure to go check me out on Twitch, it's going to be linked in the description. We try to stream pretty much every day on Twitch, so please go drop me a follow. And if you all are looking for the cheapest coins, make sure to check out AOEAH.com. They have low prices, fast delivery, 24-7 online service, and safe transactions. And use code FEEVCHIEF for 5% off. And with all that said, let's jump right into this trading method. So today, guys, they, re they released some UCL marquee matchups. So what we're going to be looking at here is a lot of the UCL cards have gone up in price. So the first filter I have for you is going to be a very simple one here. You're going to go UEFA Champions League rares. And obviously in this filter, you can get any Champions League rare card. And if we check the prices, they're pretty much all going for 4,000 coins like instantly they'll sell for. As you can see here, about 4.3 you can sell them for as well. So basically our first filter here is gonna be including all the Champions League rares cards. You can sell them for about 4.2, 4.3 pretty consistently. So you can snipe these at about 3.7K. As you can see, one popped up there on our first search. Very, very easy. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna sit here and snipe these. Now, I'm not a huge fan of this filter because although you're gonna see a ridiculous amount of cards, it's next to impossible to actually pick these cards up just because there's so many people on the filter there's people with bots on this filter it's very very difficult to see these as you can see i went on that one really quickly and it's tough to get these so what i like to do the first thing i like to try out is a lot of times i just like to bid on these cards i find it fairly easy to mass bid on these and pick them up so as you can see a lot of these cards just won't have bids on them so what i like to do is i like to pick a price and i'll just kind of mass bid on every single card for that price as you can see i'm gonna go 3700 for every card here now basically you want to bid on as many cards as possible because you're not going to win a ton of cards honestly if you bid on 20 cards you might win like one but it's worth it in the end you make quite a few coins from this method if you have a lot of coins to throw around and you're able to bid on a lot of cards i would definitely recommend this it's fairly easy to do this and it doesn't take a ton of time as you can see i've already bid on a lot of cards here and someone like Azpilicueta is going to go like a lot more coins. It's just about recognizing which cards are worth more, which cards are worth less, that kind of thing. So just keeping your eye on the market and bidding on as many cards as possible. So if I go and show you my transfer list here, or my transfer targets, and what we've got. So basically before the video, I picked up a Matic for 3500 So we're going to go check Matic's price, and then we're going to get into some more filters and show you guys what we've won from our from our bidding there. So Nemanja Matic here, Champions League rare. Let's see exactly what he's going for. Um, in the Premier League, so it might be worth a bit more. As you can see, there's one there, 4,900. He hasn't sold, so I'm gonna list mine for 4,600 and see if he sells, which is gonna be over a thousand coins profit for us, which is really nice. Only lose 230 coins on tax, so about 800 coins profit after tax. So we're gonna list this guy up for 4,600. Still really good coins here, that's what we like to see. And as you can see, like I said, you're not going to win all these cards, but chances are you're going to win some of them. It looks like we're going to win this Ramsey and Bruma right here. Now, again, we lose out on some of them, but we're not worried about it. We might get this Correa as well, maybe this Roniger. So as you can see, we're getting a lot of cards here. We won Bruma and Ramsey. So just as another example here, let me show you how much Ramsey is worth. So if we go to Ramsey here... Aaron Ramsey's Champions League card, I'm guessing is around Matic's price as well. There's one for 4,500. We're going to list ours 4,300, just make sure it sells. And then Bruma as well is probably going to be closer to the minimum because he's not a major league. But there's one there for 4K. That's going to sell within the next 30 seconds. So we can sell ours for about, yeah, it already sold. So we can sell ours for 4.4K. So we're going to list both of those cards 4.4K that we had here. As you can see, we're just winning tons and tons of cards right now. Now, this method is going to be really good late at night as well with not as many people bidding. So it's much easier to win them. But as you can see, we'll make 700 coins there. 
Ramsey here will make another 700 coins. So it's really just about mass bidding and not getting discouraged when you don't win cards because you're not going to win every single card. It's about putting down as many bids as possible and hoping you win a few here or there. So I'm just going to list these cards up 4,400 as well because they are major leagues and I'm, ass I'm assuming they're going to sell. Maybe the French League French guy goes a bit more. We'll check real quick, kind of see. There's one there for 5k, 4.5. So no, he's going to be 4.4k as well. So that's kind of the selling price right now. We're making about 700 coins a card pretty comfortably. And we actually win Azpilicueta for 4k. So let's see what his price is. I'm guessing he's just like 4.7 since he's 84 rated. I mean, there's only a couple here. I'm gonna list him 4.8, maybe make 800 coins on him, which would be very, very nice. So we're gonna go ahead and list those up there. And if we go to the transfer list here, as you can see, two of these cards already sold. Correa, we must have underlisted because we just listed him, but Matic sold as well. We're making a lot of coins on these cards. And basically in terms of sniping, if you're looking to kind of narrow things down to kind of win more cards, what you can do is you can go to different leagues, and sometimes different leagues the cards will be worth more. Like in the Premier League, maybe you could sell like forwards, or you just kind of like look around at different leagues, different positions, and see what's going for a bit more coins. Like these Premier League forwards are going for about 4500 so I mean maybe you're sniping these at 4k and you're trying to pick these up. It really just comes down to preference. I'm a big fan of just the mass bidding method. I think that's the easiest way to make coins out of this, and I think it's by far the best, so I would definitely recommend that to you guys. But if you have great internet and you're quick at sniping, definitely sniping these cards would be a go-to method as well. You really just can't miss with it if you are able to pick these cards up when they do pop up. They pop up quickly, but they're just next to impossible to get. Here we go, Visca here, we miss out on him. But as you can see, this bidding method is making us lots of coins. We got another two items that sold here. They're selling quickly. We're making easy coins off of it. And I definitely recommend that you guys go check this out. But that's going to be it for this video. If you did enjoy it, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next video.